Oh, some banger music this morning, that's for sure. Welcome back, everybody, and happy Monday to you all. Thank you for your genuine kindness, oh. attentiveness, and brilliance in streaming. <laughs> Well, thank you, Chad. Levi, thanks for the five. Victoria, thank you very much for the ten. Good morning. Happy Monday. And let it be known, everybody, that there's a bunch of free games on Steam today. It's the next fest. A bunch of games will either be on Steam for free or will be free a little later today. So check Steam regularly this week for all sorts of new games. Uh, later today, we're going to actually be um, taking a look at some of these new games, too. We're going to do a kind of a demo days or a demo fest live stream. And uh, so anybody's got some games that they want me to play, jump on the Discord and throw me some. And we'll, got, we'll take a look at them in St on Steam and we'll uh, possibly play some of them as well. But there's a lot of games coming up that will be free uh, for demo. And I think maybe Forever Skies might have a demo again too. This game did have uh, a demo before. So it could be getting, if you go to the Steam store page right now, maybe it won't have a demo at the moment. But it's possible to get a new game later today so is there a list of all the free games yeah uh well so steam hasn't yet officially launched the event but uh what i'm assuming is that this if you go to steam eventually it'll probably have like a big carousel or something of all sorts of different free games and you could probably sort uh by like game type and typically what steam will do is they'll do like a big o list of games in a live stream and so steam will have a live stream running and it'll list all sorts of different games that you can either watch at a certain time or just click on them and then uh, check them out. Uh, but also on our Discord, people are sharing some games too. And today, after this stream, I'm going to have a top 10 of the top 10 uh, games that are going to be on the next fest. Some of them aren't new. You may have seen them before, but some of them do have new demos. For example, uh, The Invincible, which you may have seen the demo for before, has a new demo today. And so it's a lot of games that aren't yet out or games that recently came out. Or like, for example, in the instance of Forever Skies, this game comes out on the 22nd of June. So if it has a demo today, it's not very long until it releases. Uh, but this this event, this Steam Next Fest, is really good because this is what gave us Manor Lords, this is what gave us Broken Arrow, and this will probably give us um, you know first looks at games like perhaps maybe City maybe City Skylines later down the road. Probably not, but I mean if there was going to be an event that there would be a demo for a game to try for free, it's during these Next Fests, and it's awesome. There's way too many games to play, even with a stream and even with like a top 10 video, and even if I tried to cover one every day, it, a week is not enough time to. Play play them all so uh, try to download all the ones that you can sometimes the demos do go longer than a week it's not like on Friday or Sunday they just absolutely cut off most of them do that is the case for most of them in my experience but um, yeah hopefully uh, hopefully we all have a good time so later today we're gonna check out a top 10 and then later today I'm gonna take your suggestions and some other games and there's also some absolute games that we're gonna try later on the channel that are like bangers that I just haven't had a chance yet to put a video up on like, for example, Gord. Gord is one that really is a very unique city builder, but we'll get into that a little bit later. Anyway, welcome aboard to Forever Skies. Uh, today's going to be a big day on the channel, too. As I mentioned, we're, we're having a stream of Forever Skies, then a video on a top 10 Steam games that are available for the next event. Uh, then later we're going to do... Um, after that, we're going to do our first look at a, uh, not a first look, but another look at a game called Back to the Dawn, which is like a prison simulator with animals. It's like Animal Crossing, but you're in prison. And then later, I'm going to try, uh, try to do something else. So just keep in mind that, um, you know, the, the event maybe hasn't yet started. So just uh, be on standby. Just uh, check out Steam a little later today. Soon. All right, let's jump back into our save and continue on. Should be good times. Oh boy. Oh yeah, there'll be lot there there's tons of free demos on Steam already and then there's even more coming uh, for this event. So, uh it's not like demos on Steam are a one-time thing. There's always demos on Steam, but sometimes Steam kind of forces these whole like not forces, but they like try to encourage developers to have uh, a bunch of demos ready for a specific like time. And they're like, they say like, oh, hey, on the 19th of June, let's all like have a bunch of cool demos ready, which is great. Gets people excited about Steam, gets people excited about new games. Oh, I thought we saved before I took these down. Anyway, where we left off in Forever Skies is that we're uh, harvesting a ton of materials so we can make more stuff, so... 
We want to make a cool ship, but it's going to take a lot of a lot of materials. Yeah, some games have playtests too, which kind of are like they're kind of like part beta, part demo. But we'll get into that a little bit later. Essentially, my video later today will just be like, hey, here's 10 games, but like really secretly what the video is, is I want people to comment on videos or games that they may have heard of that I haven't heard of yet and that I might be able to discover through everybody watching. Because, you know, Steam's a big old place. Another good thing too, chat, just as a reminder too, if you, if you ever wish list a game on Steam, uh, it helps Steam to promote those games on launch. So... If you're really hoping that a game's going to succeed or whatnot, and you want to buy it but not yet, if you add it to your wish list, like Steam will put it kind of like in the higher recommended. So that's a pretty good idea. More people will find a game that way. Just like if you hit the like button here on this channel, more people will find the channel if you hit the like button too. It's free and takes one second and super awesome if you do that. If you want to. All right, so we need to get to that exclamation point there to our right. I think we're just going to go under slow speed. Oh, fuel depleted. Also, people were telling me that I should turn off engines when we're stopped, but I don't think they consume fuel at all unless we're moving. I think it's more based on... Um, I think it's more based on... Uh, like distance traveled. Hey Levi, thanks for the two. I don't have any other pairs in this room at the moment, but uh, thank you very much for the support. I'll uh, see if I can change some later. I uh, deep cleaned the other ones and they're out kind of drying right now. I used some spray and I don't want to put that on my face. Thank you very much. I got the red ones ready to go later on. I gotta get some new ones too. Oh, we need some Wendy's. Oh, there's actually a tower over there. Let's go over that way. Glad to see you playing this, Raptor. Been really excited for it. Me too. Man, this looks really cool. Look at that. That looks really cool. But thank you guys for all the big O support. Any updates on the new PC? Uh, later this month. I've already started working with people on it, but uh, yeah, it's a uh, work in progress at the moment. Soon. Soon. What's up, Eric? Welcome aboard. Man, that sunset looks gorgeous. Better have the channel logo on it. That'd be kind of cool. Are we inventory full? Oh, yeah. I will come in for a landing and then make some din din. Oh, windmills over there. And we are 1.63 to the right. Yep, windmills confirmed, yep. Actually, uh, Chad, I did a little research last night, too, for everybody wondering if we could grow plants on our ship. Uh, we can't yet, but that is something the developers will bring to the game later on. So, no, pl no plants, no gardens on your ship yet. Uh, okay, so let's put... Uh, wow, this rotten food... I would totally ditch all this rotten food, but it is possible that it could go for a fertilizer. Uh, maybe we'll need it later. Like, I know we can't grow stuff, but maybe it's needed for recipe. Like, there's like a plant oil thing that we can make. Okay, let's go explore a little. Wait a minute. There's an auto stack. Oh, 
old isotonic drink. Hmm. Oh, we found lots of batteries. That's awesome. Wow, we've already used so much water. Uh-oh, storm. And we'll just stay parked. Hopefully that doesn't damage us. You're new. What's going on here? Uh, well, on the channel, we're just playing a game live with our viewers, and you're welcome to chat with everybody. If, you, if you've never been to a YouTube live stream before, welcome. Good to see you. Um, but if you're new to this game, essentially this is like Raft or Subnautica, kind of both. Uh, where we're exploring a Earth that's atmosphere is kind of a little weird at the moment. Earth's having a little trouble at the moment. There's like this weird layer of like a foggy mist that they call the dust. That's like between the clouds and the Earth's surface. So we're trying to survive and build an airship and explore and we're having fun. Hey, what's M oh, what's up, MCJ? Good to see you. All right, we got to be on the lookout for plastic. Oh, there's some. Is there a door? Oh, like a rare one that doesn't have a door. Might have to make our own door, or I can go in through the top, maybe. Well, let's use the deck gun. Oh, there's one here. There's two little thingies here. There's a door there, but I can't reach that. Unless... Oh, that was close. Okay. Okay, we got fuel. A bear spotted in chat. Oh, no. Oh, wouldn't Wall World be amazing if it got, like, some sort of a... <laughs> It'd be cool if a Wall World sequel was, like, nothing like the original. Like, it would be more like this, but it was, like, based on the original game story. That'd be cool. It'll be helpful here is a little scanner. Not like the handheld one that we have, but like one to ping if items are nearby. Caution. A storm is coming. Oh, I knew that. I knew it. Yeah, we might need to hang out on the ship for a little while. I don't know if I can get struck by lightning, but I don't really want to risk that at the moment. Let's go down. That was close. I think we can get in through the top. Oh, is that a door there, maybe? Alright, so we will, um... We'll just hang out. Alright, my idea too to upgrade the ship is to expand both left and right, so maybe we have finally enough material to do that. I guess since, level is decreasing. since we're waiting, let's rebuild the ship. And we need some water.
Alright, so I want to expand left and right a little bit. So where's our builder? Okay, so we got to delete the floor. Oh, we get all the materials back. Nice. Oh, damn, the engine. That's good, the storm's over. Okay, we're a little more thick now. Alright. So, we'll put our bedroom, uh, we'll put it over here. Uh, we could, could we put a floor down? Ooh, that looks nice. Hmm. Alright, so to get to the back of the ship, I'll put a door there. And then what about... We might not have blueprints to make everything we want yet. We could do a glass floor, but... Actually, that'd be kind of nice here. I wonder if we can... Del can we delete a floor without... No. Oh, that's the cockpit. Okay. That's a little different. Okay, so we're going to make a glass... wall. We have a lot of glass somewhere. Cool. Oh, well, that takes five. I don't know if we're going to have enough glass. <laughs> oh, do we have to make a ceiling, too? Uh, I don't see options for ceiling. Oh, you can. Ooh, it comes with lights. Fancy. Alright, so a metal floor is also a metal ceiling. It just doesn't seem like it, but it is. Those of you who work in construction, floors can also be ceilings. Oh, oh what? It deleted my... Oh, no. Oh, it put in my inventory. Cool. Oh, that's nice. It auto-picks up stuff. Oh, that's kind of cool. So if I threw that floor down and there was a bed in the way, it probably would have put the bed in my inventory and then... Oh, that's neat. I thought I, I thought I got robbed. That's awesome. So rather than having to pick up a whole floor, you just... You know, floor worth of stuff, you can just... Man, wouldn't that be nice in real life? Just gonna go remodel a room. Puts all this stuff in an inventory. Cool, there's my bed. And then, okay, so I'm, I'm probably not going to have enough materials to finish, um, a, like, a window here yet. I do like having the doors on either side to get out. I should probably build, like, a little catwalk on the catwalk, yeah. Q. Okay. And let's build a... A door here. We need electric components. Electric elements. 
Uh, I'll put the football and the lantern in there for now. Yeah, damage in this game is weird. Like, if the cockpit is sparking, it might mean that the back of the ship is damaged. Like, it doesn't look like damage represents where the damage is. Sometimes. And we might be on a little repair kit, so we, we'll work on that later. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get some more materials from here, like glass. We will need more glass to... ...add more stuff. We just got, oh, we got 17 glass now. We might be able to finish. Yep, it's five per, so. I'm short on, oh, what's the other thing? Oh, synthetics. Synthetics. Not bad for now. Not bad. Still lacking a lot of resources to make it the way we want, but it's better. Okay. Gotta throw those engines back on now. You can put the engine into the bed. Okay. Or can you put engine inside? Oh, that'd be hilarious. Maximum flight nope. speed increased. Maximum flight speed reduced. I think we'll put them on the back. I think we'll put them here for now. Not a big fan of that, but Maximum flight speed increased. when we get more materials, we'll expand it a little bit further. Oh, not enough lift. Oh, I can't do two engines now. We have to upgrade the balloon. Uh-oh. We made, we made the ship a little too big. I mean, it wasn't that big, but... Well, Levi, thanks for another five, bro. Thanks for all the super chats, everybody. That's really awesome. Thank you. It's going to be a really good day, and more great news from Steam is always welcome. Yeah. Flight speed increased. Hell yeah. Thank you very much for the support. All right, cool. Now, we actually have, like, a complete ship. Like, it's enclosed. Okay, let's go inside and see what's in there. Looks like I can get in from up top. There was more glass. We're gonna need to harvest that. Yeah, we got a Reminder, thick ship. This is a bear-free environment. I guess the ship being a little wider than longer is not bad, because the... Yeah. I think I'd make it, like, maybe one more further back, or... Man, it'd be nice to even put the cockpit a little forward, but... We can uh, mess with that a little later. Bingo, we're in. An office chair. Ooh, fancy.
And I think I got the battery up there. I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Alright, let's get this glass and then we're out of here. everything. Alright, how do we make a hull patch? Metals and... Oh, we need scrap plastic. I'd like to make some more of that if I could. It takes 30 synthetics? Ooh, that's bendy. Uh, maybe it gives us like a couple at a time though. Printing completed. Like maybe that gives us five repair patches or something. Printing completed. Okay, where's our research station? Must have put it in storage. Oh, this does give us five. Okay, good. You know, this thing repairs like a quite a quite a bit of health, so like this looks heavily damaged, but is only at like eighty percent. That's good enough for now. Is Park Beyond something you're going to try out? Yeah, we did play that. There are playthroughs of uh, Park Beyond on the channel. I haven't gotten a chance to play the release version yet, but videos are on the channel. Enjoy. Okay, windmills next, I guess. When we go here, I'm going to get scrap. But yeah, Park Beyond was pretty cool. Makes me want to go play more Planet Coaster, too. Calories level is decreasing. Hydration level is decreasing. Hold on, ship. Woo! Alright, we need food. I think we're going to go a little lower. Now oh, we can make weapons now too, like a crossbow. That means we're going to have enemy combat. That's going to be interesting. There will be little enemies. Mm-hmm. Making that food. Alright, let's see. Wow, already caught one. Actually, no. Alright. I'm gonna make one and then have another one for backup. Alright, let's go. Let's wait for dinner. Breakfast? Lunch? What time is it?
Wow. Dinner takes a long time. There we go. Alright, let's make another one. Maybe we can make it an advanced boiler. Uh, it's like a... It's, it's kind of like a rice cooker. It's, um... It's a boiler, basically. But I wonder if there'll be different ways to make food. Because I could really go for some BBQ, brother. Oh, locked. Ooh. I've never found a locked door before. Um... Locked how? By power? Oh, yeah. There we go. Hopefully we can take that battery with us. An office chair. Didn't we just get that? You know what would be cool, too, is if you found more and more blueprints, like, you wouldn't have to research it. Yeah, I don't think I could have gotten in through the roof. Damn, doesn't the ship look cool? Some Blade Runner level stuff. God, there's so much stuff in here. Every nook and every cranny. So, <laughs> oh, let me see if I can get my battery back. this someone chained up the electrical box wonder if I can delete that with the deck gun that's weird we're starting to see stuff we haven't seen before I can't shoot the lock Uh, let's see. I should hang those posters up. Oh, I can't put it in the ship because it'll. There's not enough lift. Oh. How do we upgrade the uh, airship? New member, welcome. I don't seem to have a recipe to upgrade it yet. Hmm. Maybe I should have left all the panels and windows and stuff out of there. Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Okay, we're gonna have to go find the immunity idol before we get voted off. Wait a minute. You know what would be hilarious is if I can't hang the poster because it's too heavy. Okay. That would have been funny. That's like, oh, dude, too much. Can't put the poster down. Good enough for now. Yo, Hiccup, thanks for the six months. Am I going to do an analysis on the new City Skylines video they released? Yeah, the traffic one? I think so. We'll put a video on the channel. This week, though, it's going to be a lot of new Steam demos and whatnot, so. Yeah, City Skylines just dropped a new video, like, three minutes or so on traffic. Uh, or roads. Well, like, cars. All things to do with roads. But it's only three minutes, so it can't be everything. But 
you know, they did a little like a little video. So yeah, I could I could do a video on that. I love that. Might have to research helium first. You might be right. Oh, but if I'm gonna research though, I can't I can't put the research station down though. Actually wait, I don't know if I could research helium. Wait, all I'd have to do is build another one of these, right? Or is that related to altitude? Wait, I think I just need to build more of these. Basic turbines. Increases the flight altitude of the airship. The effect multiplies for additional units built. Maybe it's that. And thank you, over 9,000 and back for the five. It's cool that they finally made a game about current day New York City. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this is a dirty life simulator. This is his game, our good friend. Alright, so I see there's still more copper around, but let's get this going before we leave. Ship balloon also will raise your carrying weight. Yeah, that's what we were talking about, but I don't have a way to upgrade that just yet. Like, I... If there's something I need to build in order to upgrade the balloon, I'm going to have to build these uh, little turbines first. Man, it's going to take a while. I guess we'll nap while we wait. Printing completed. Well, thank you, ma'am. Now's a good time to tell me that. Gabagool Life Sim. You know what? Hydration level. We got so many little life simulators like Mon Bazoo and I feel like every nation on earth needs like a my summer car version of their country or big cities and I would love one for like just for dirty eat gabagool Nathan hot dogs in order to survive okay let's throw on another turbine The game does mention something about the effect stacking, so... Oh, it says not enough lift. Okay, so it is related to the balloon. So let's do this. We're gonna start shaving off some weight. That one's tricky to pick up. You gotta, like, look away from it. Like, don't look at me! Okay. Let's see if we can throw down the research station now. Yeah, it's weird. This game gives us an oxygen tank, but we haven't had to worry about oxygen yet. Uh, let's see. Used to create device upgrades, improves functionality and efficiency. Upgrade station. Tool charger. That would be a good one. I should build... Let's get that researched. Because with all this building we're doing, I'm going to need that. Uh, does what's in the chest affect your weight? No, it seems to be what's built. It seems to be like what's on the ship or in the ship. Mm, hydrogen or helium fuel, but that's for the engines. Oh, there we go. Expand balloon and balloon core. The base for the balloon, each airship has at least one, but it's possible to add more parallel balloons to increase lift capacity. I'm going to make the balloon stronger and not bigger. Because this thing ain't nimble. Alright, let's go with that one. Now, can we make that upgrade station? 
Research finalized. Tool charger. I need a transformer. Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Uh, use the airship builder to expand the balloon. I should probably land for this. Well, we'll get the copper. Printing completed. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, let's build a... So balloon core is going to take 6 helium and 120 synthetics. We got the helium. Looking a little light on those synthetics. Alright, let's get that then. Feels like fishing now. Ooh, clear, sunny day. Yeah, maybe we can go over there. That might have synthetics too. A lot of those little yellow barrels that are on the. Caution. A storm is coming. Oh boy, okay. Yeah, we, yeah, we gotta get down. Nope, 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 nope. Also shows wind direction. I wonder if that's actually a factor in this game where you'll get a tailwind. I wouldn't be surprised. Airships are cool, man. We need more airship builders. Yep, there's a new City Skylines video. We'll uh, take a look at that later on the channel. I uh, know we went from, oh look, a sunny day to you should die. That's great. We took a hit. Where are we at here? Oh, we have no fuel. Not now, ma'am. Here's a little helium fuel. Helium fuel is different than like the helium tanks. Hit again, my God. All right, I think we're safe. Hey, there's a mailbox there. I find it weird that these people had a mail delivery system. Smog is rising. Spread the word. Smog levels will soon again rise. It's advised to leave the lowest residential areas. The forecast indicates an increase in the level 
uh, more than a meter, uh, but we all know how inaccurate previous forecasts were. Be wary and be safe. Oh, damn. That was close. Alright, let's climb this metal tower in a storm. And of the lantern. Simple storage rack. Ooh. What if we can actually use that? Um I'll come back. And those little yellow containers are actually for synthetics too, so we might have what we need to upgrade the balloon. That's Q. Uh, yeah, junk mail, yeah. Oh, well, yeah, it would, be, it would be like something from the IRS, even like post-apocalyptic. Like, hey, uh, were you in the orbit of Earth in the year of 2932? Yes. Oh, you're going to owe. Oh, you, were you living and breathing? Uh, yeah. Oh, dude. Yeah, that's going to be a big... And were you aware that you were alive? I think so. Ooh. All right, well, how much do I owe you? Can't tell you. You're going to have to guess, but we'll let you know if you're wrong, though. It's like a math test back in high school. All right, let's get those synthetics, y'all. So, chat, we needed 120 synthetics to upgrade the... Uh, oh, wow, I can rip the doors right off. We needed 120 synthetics to uh, upgrade the ship. We can haul more stuff. Now there's some more, but I'll have to move the ship. I do like how the um, we can both make the balloon... Like, kind of upgrade the balloon to be better inside, like more cores or whatnot to like give lift or make the balloon longer and bigger to like match the size of the ship because at, at a certain point you could probably just have a an absolute red knot oh good we got a repair patch and we can do some repairs the ship is in rough shape it's like rough McGruff It's very expensive to make those patches. Sucks. Hold on a second. I have no idea. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> Chad, I'm getting so many emails today for new games and stuff. Like, I got friends in the industry that are reaching out and they're like, dude are you going to play our game that we just announced? It's like, I didn't even know it existed. Dude, have you played it? You just announced it. Okay, it's out now though. Like, I don't even know the name. You didn't tell me. The email just starts Hey, are you going to play it? Wow, the back end of the ship got hit hard. Damn. I'm hungry. Okay, but that's a good problem to have, chat, right? Like, all these f new free Steam games and new games in general. It's good. Also, I'm just kidding. No, Nobody nobody who uh, makes games is like that. They're all very... They're all very patient. My bum is burning? It sure is. It's sparking too, which is, uh, I don't know about that problem. Fire is one thing, sparks is another. Okay, what were we doing, chat? I have derped. Oh, I should probably get water. We need, um... Wait, no, 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 no. 
first we're gonna build that tool rack, right? No, first we gotta upgrade the ship. So. I'll research that later. Yeah, the engine's still damaged. I don't have enough, um, if we're gonna, to repair, we need synthetics, but we ne also need synthetics for the lift. So let's do the lift first so we can put more things on the ship and then we'll use those things to repair. One thing at a time. So now to upgrade the core, we need copper too, and I need more synthetics. Oh yeah, how do you get on your ship if you, like, get off? Oh, climb on board. Oh, okay. Do you even lift, bro? Apparently not. I... <laughs> I do not have copper and synthetics to, uh, uh, generate the appropriate lift. Hey, wait a minute. Uh, I forgot that there is a battery there. Um, so the closest one is 1.6. Let's go this way. Whoa, 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 whoa. Right, I'm just going to forget the water. We got rain catchers. Fuel depleted. Oh, I, need I need synthetics in order to make that fuel. All right, task one, upgrade balloon core. Wait, I'm building a whole separate balloon? Oh my God. Oh no. Oh, I thought I was upgrading the currently existing one. Oh, no. So maybe expand the balloon? I was confused! Yeah, we're gonna have to do it all. Research finalized. Okay. So the extendo. Alright. Well, to be fair, we're probably going to have to do both. At a certain point, the balloon can probably only be a certain size. And I'm not against, like, upgrading way before we need to. That's fine. What did it need? Electric parts? Oh, machine parts. Machine parts. Which are there. Perfect. Oops. Cool. I wonder if there's a there's got to be a helpful meter that show. Oh my God, that's oh boy, that is wow. Okay. It's gonna take so many materials to do that. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, we're gonna stop at this one in front of us, and I'm gonna try to get synthetics. We need to repair uh, our ship, and we need synthetics to do it. Uh, to make plastics. And it's 30 each, so it's so expensive. But we need fuel in order to move, and that takes synthetics. So we're in the synthetics dunlock right now, chat. Everything we want to do is going to take synthetics. Printing completed. Although the synthetic fuel is not too expensive. Only 10. That's not bad. Inefficient, though. Printing completed. But hey, it's cheap and easy. It's almost like it's just running on lawn clippings. Right, let's go slow to give us more time to get synthetics. And then when we get to this next destination, we're going to repair.
Oh, that's good. Lots of synthetics, good. Alright, so the balloon extension made it longer. The core makes it so we can make the ship wider. I think for driving purposes, I want to try to make it a little more narrow. Like, not wider than one balloon. I wonder if we could put a balloon on the balloon. That'd be kind of cool. Oh, right. We can make uh, biomass fuel from here, because we get those vines. Cool. Is it right you can beat a twister by turning left? I thought that was about mazes, right? Like if you stick to the left side of a maze. Low altitude. Yeah, yeah. Okay, we're okay on food for now. Let's have some water. Nap time soon. Okay, so to make repair kits, we need more plastic. And I don't think I have any more. Printing completed. You know what'd be nice is some of those plastic bottles that we found, if we could use those afterwards. Okay, we have ten. Alright, repair, repair, repair. Printing completed. Standing by. Right, let's put some decorations down. Didn't I have a football somewhere? Are you ready for some football? Yes, I am. My body is ready. Printing completed. Okay, so we should have 15 repair kits now. <laughs> it's a little smiley face. Alright, chat. This will buff out. I find it hilarious how things can get hit by lightning. Uh, like the rain catcher and it's just sparking and all it is is just a tarp it's like made out of the same material those fishing chairs are made out of oh the engine got hit pretty high. oh the door too Terra Pass with the five bomb for the chatty chatters. Thank you very much for the five gifted memberships. Chat. Get bomb emotes. Let's go. Thank you very much for your support. And welcome everybody to the Big O stream. Hope you're having a good Monday. I'm not going to repair anything over like 90%. 90 and below I'll repair. But like 96, it's just going to get hit by lightning. All right, I think we're good. Let's oh, let's make that uh, tool charging station. Can we make that? That requires more co copair. It's French. Lay copper. Printing completed. Printing completed. You can't wait to play this? 
I can't wait to see what everybody does in this game. And I'd say, chat, pretty cool game. Let's put it right now. So we throw in a solid state battery. Use charger on the building tool. And do we just wait? I think we just wait. That means I can't build anything for a little while. That's fine. Oh, let's make sure we got our knife. She Fox could be here. I'm gonna actually sleep because it, it's gonna take a while to harvest all this. What the hell? It's a little trickier to get up there. Are you ready for some bedtime? I am. Hydration level is decreasing. Everything's decreasing all the time, ma'am. Calories level is decreasing. Okay, now. Some water. Where's my, where's my big O? Where's my big gulp? There it is. Oh, 4 out of 20. Okay. That's fine. We got plenty of water then. And we'll have to go fishing after this. Guess we're going up first. Am I going to be entertaining chat on the 4th of July? Oh, yeah. Yeah, my, my streams usually end before before it's even dark out anyway, so... Even if I did an extendo stream on... Uh, well, actually, wait. I'll be uh, probably in Sweden, but we'll see. It all depends on... TBD, we'll see. Teehee, TBD. But I wonder if the recharge ratio is one to one. Like if one solid state battery will charge one tool. We'll see. Four out of twenty, yes. Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Omelette du fromage, yes, exactly. Omelette du fromage. But I'm only here for, like, the fuel. We don't really need these foods. Plus, these these don't really give too much food anyway. They're more of, like, a medicine. Uh, has everybody in chat been on the Discord uh, suggesting demos for today? Steam's demo uh, event starts shortly. Or it's already started. We'll be covering those a little later today. Lots of new games this week on the channel. It's going to be a big, 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 big week on the channel. Almost every game we uh, cover is going to be new. Yeah, we want all that for synthetic. Uh, or biomass. We want it for biomass. Bottle some more dirty water. Now we have those rain catchers. I really don't need to do that. That's fine, though. All right, where are we heading? That away. Go to the orange light next. Live chat on. Thank you. <laughs> I forgot to. And, uh, wow, lots of biomass.
I don't know if this is used for anything else. All right, I'll make ten of it into fuel. Hydration level is decreasing. Oh, well, biomass fuel. I keep saying biogas or whatever, but okay, that's gonna take some water, and that'll just take a little bit of time. Hey, what's up, Sebastian? Is there anything to build in this game that makes you get less hits from lightning? Um, no, they just recommend you lower your altitude and, like, hide under something, but sometimes it's... Sometimes you'll be stuck where you are. I guess this also means I could build a second engine, huh? But... I don't think we want to go faster. The longer it takes us to travel, the more time we just get to gather materials. So it's like either we get we get to where we're going really fast and then just sit there. It's either hurry up and go with no materials to build, or we do what turtles do. Low and steady. Turtle. Yeah, exactly. Land and let the tower be your lightning rod. That's right. Okay. Oh yeah, I forgot to go fishing. Inventory is pretty full. should get another battery from here. Does the f uh, wind affect you? Well, the game does show like a wind direction, so I'm not sure, but I I'd say probably, yeah. I just haven't noticed it. Like, I probably get to travel a little faster, but, you know, with the tailwind, but it just doesn't seem like it. When we're in a big old slow dirigible. What's up, Hobson family? Hello. An hour and 45 minutes till the next fest starts? Excellent. Good. Anywhere to put our fan? Okay. Well, that's good. We'll probably need to do that regardless. Alright. Um, hmm, there's a... Like a hexagon with this question mark? Oh, I forgot the power. That'll buff out. gonna storm again. I 
know what's tough, too, is that we can't... We kind of steer from the front of the ship. We can't move, like, you know, horizontally. We kind of have to, like, turn in a direction. So it makes steering this thing a little tougher. It'd be nice to get some port and starboard thrusters to push us away. Okay, we need dinner. Cabbage doesn't give a lot, but it's fine. All right. Oh, canned water. Yo, Jimmy, thanks for the 17 months as a member, dude. Thanks for hitting join and being a member for 17 months. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That's weird. That's like a bunch of vines over there. Oh. Yo, these plants are like taken over. You're at risk of starvation, too. You're going to order a pizza. Amen, brother. More power to you. Uh, we need to make some fresh water. Well, let's see what's down here. Damage. Funny to see you here. Uncharted area. The preliminary analysis started. Ooh, a temporary camp. Towers used to maintain communication between distant point. Wait, that's something else. Analysis completed. Detected new objects requiring scan. Oh, hello. Now we can scan new stuff. Okay, so areas with hexagons have possibly new diseases might become more severe. New blueprints. I'm gonna need to move that out of the way so I can get in there. Okay. Looks like I can go over this way. Hmm. Not a lot of materials here. Maybe it's on the other side of that blockage. Oh boy. Ooh. Hey Raptor, how do you like spending your day when you aren't streaming? I understand if you like to keep things private. Well, I like cooking and um, organizing things around my place. Going out on walks now that it's summer. I've been doing that more. Caution. A storm is coming. <sighs> Hold on. Oh, 
Oh yeah, look at that. We're flying into the wind, so we can't... Oh, I didn't notice that before. It looked like it was blowing us backwards briefly. Yep, so th there does seem to be something with wind direction. Warning. Low altitude warning. Entering dust layer. Hull damage imminent. We're fine, man. We're fine. I like how all the doors locked. I will just wait out the storm. There's something in that in that room that you need. Yep. We'll go back there. We're just hiding from the storm. Printing completed. Is this the new Subnautica? Kinda. I mean, it's got elements of Subnautica and Raft in it. Doesn't have any of the voice acting yet that Subnautica did, though. I did like the radio messages in that. But, uh, it's still lots of fun. Yeah, Skynautica, kinda. Do I stream on Twitch? Yeah, I changed the Twitch name, but, uh, no, nah, I haven't streamed on Twitch in years. I would like to branch out other than this channel, though. It seems like everybody is and has been doing it. It would be a good idea to... I have a second YouTube channel that I was going to make just for shorts, but I just dropped them here instead. So I think we could, you know... YouTube doesn't like it when you put too much ch content on one channel, then they stop, like, promoting your channel. They want you to have multiple channels, but they don't tell you that. So I guess to to play the algorithm game, I'm going to have to, like, put... St it, it would be every everything that you see here, but just on a another channel. YouTube just wants you to do that, and it's like, well, okay. But don't worry. The only thing that would happen is I would just stream here a little less and make content a little more somewhere else. Is the storm over that fast? Alright then. Should clear the way. Yep, cool. Oh yeah, this kind of reminds me of some of the islands from Raft. Yeah, I, I want to play Raft and Subnautica are so good that. I feel like you could play Raft and Subnautica once a year. Do you remember the forests? What the hell is that? Is it a membrane? Erect soft cushion. Comfortable pet bed. Oh, we can get a pet? Oh, okay. Interesting. Yeah, chat, maybe we can get one of our uh, kitties. Kitty! Oh, I want to get that kitty emote. We're five members in. We get 95 more members right now, and we have unlocked the uh, kitty emote. i got to ask Art to make it, but it's, it's going to happen. Don't tell me it's going to storm again. Artyom is standing by. Oh, somebody made a desk out of lockers. That's cool. 
A wall lamp bent. That's cool. We can put a little lamp in the in the ship. Ooh, I see loot I missed. So I guess those uh, hexagons are kind of like story elements, like kind of, and also have very important blueprints. Get a couple of these synthetics. Oh, fuel depleted again. Well, actually, let's use the uh, biomass fuel. There we go. turn to our left. That one's another hexagon, so there's going to be more stuff there. Hey, chap. I shouldn't ask this question because it really could divide our lovely community, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to I'm going to ask a a divisive question. I'm going to do it. I'm also going to go straight for the uh, hexagon, too. No stopping. Alright, chat. Here's my question. Would you rather... have two Mondays a week... Or would you rather have two Mondays a week or would you rather no matter what pizza you ordered it had to have some pineapple on it and you couldn't take it off Dude, look at this. What the hell? We're, we're in like the spiny forest. Oh, this is... This looks like absolute hell. That's cool. That's like a purple light. We're gonna have to get all the way up there. Good thing we built another uh, thruster. Out of the way, sir. I need to like drive because this is kind of tricky. And two Mondays, by the way, means that it's Monday, Monday, it eight days a week. It would both extend the year and you would have to work one more day a week. It would be a weekday, so it would be Monday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Now I'm about to say something, and it's probably, <laughs> I shouldn't say it. 
Boy, it's certainly pretty out, isn't it, chat? Wow, look at that. Pretty. Now watch, it's gonna storm. Not if you don't work Monday. Well, I mean, you know, the first day of your week is kind of a Monday, you know what I mean? So you have to do that day twice. Like, if you start working on Tuesdays, then that just means there's two, two first days of the week. And I imagine that kind of would end up being like a Groundhog Day, right? Wow, what is this place? Now you're using diversion against us? Nah. I like you guys. You guys are cool. Chat's pretty cool. Oh, this is like... What is this? This ain't just an office. Oh, it's like an office building that they built out? <gasps> Wait a minute. Are we going to be able to go down? Find surface lift location. Oh, damn. We're going down to the surface of the planet? Oh, hell no. Oh, no. We're going, we're going down to the surface. That might be what the oxygen and stuff is for. Oh, hell. Yeah, people keep asking me about the City Skylines video. Yes, I've seen it. And yes, I'll be making a video on it, too. But it'll be soon, because there's a lot of new stuff. <laughs> Guys, this week, this game comes out this week. There's a new City Skylines video. There's tons of new demos. The preliminary analysis it's a big week. Started. Descent to the Underdust. Dude, we're going analysis down. I didn't, I didn't know this game would let no you do that. Objects were detected. An elevator that can descend deep beneath the dust layer. We suspect the rarest resources and... Oh. And archives of the past research may lie under the dust. While many technologies have been lost over time and... It, it's possible that they can no longer be recovered. We still have hope. The dust will make for uh, difficult for you to breathe. The lower you go, the denser and more poisonous it becomes. You'll need advanced suit filters to be able to explore the underdust. You may find these types of filters in the ruins of old laboratories. There's high risk that you'll die when exploring. Please be careful. Okay, so that is what we need the, uh, the oxygen tank for that we never needed before. So maybe we can upgrade that. Let's look around before we go in. And then we'll drop some stuff off. Okay, so before we go in, we should probably have food and water, right? We should probably get that squared away. Oh, we're going to have to go all the way down, though, to get food. Uh, new cycle, so damn cool. Downloaded the free demo. Been playing it. Cannot wait for the game to come out. Yep, that's another one that's got uh, free demo. I made a top ten video today. That's not on my top ten list, but it's not like that's not a top ten game. Like it, you know, I could only put ten on the on the list, so I tried to feature games that I hadn't featured in a little while. Since I made a video on New Cycle recently where I mentioned the demo, I, I didn't put it on my top 10 list. Even though it's like, it's super good. Top 10 lists are hard to make. It's it's not like... It's like you need to make a top 413 list. But that's too long to watch. Hey guys, I just released a 6 month video. It's 6 months long, listing all the cool games there are. Hmm. Oh, I think we'll nap while we wait for fishing. But napping doesn't seem to affect in-game time. It just seems to affect the day-night cycle and your stamina. Because these things haven't even caught any fish, and they probably will soon. Yeah, maybe we'll find an O2 upgrade down there. Maybe uh, things that are these little hexagons, those might be most important for that. Those weird towers, like that one at 2.4 over here, this one, 
Those are weird, because it's like there's an endless water supply there and some trees, but there's not much else there. Oh, low, lower altitude to catch prey, raised line. I thought we were pretty low. Ah, there we go. Muy bueno. Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Hmm. So many new messages on new games. I get this guy emailing me right now. Who the hell is this Gabe Newell? Half-Life 3 demo? Like, no thanks. Sounds dumb. Crossbow, yeah, let's, let's make a crossbow. That's gonna take polymer, okay. Yeah, we better take a crossbow. There could be critters. Well, let's see. Yeah, I know this. The Gabe Newell guy's been messaging for months, like, "Please play my game. You'll be the first in the world." Are we liking this so far? I am very much. Yeah. This game's been hard to play because it's the type of game where it's like, um, you know, you could endlessly play the demo. You know, like, imagine playing Subnautica where you never really get to, like, leave the initial starting area. Like, that's painful. Because that game is so good. You just want to, like, play more. Okay, we're building a crossbow. I'm gonna... I guess I'll keep some batteries with me because we might need those. I'll keep that. What is that? Old food ration. I'll take that. Okay, so now is the part of the game where we need to start upgrading our suit. And other things like that. Oh, that's cool. The box shows a little animation when it opens. Neat. Well, you know what I can do? I can just throw stuff on the floor. Does the balloon need repair? I don't think so. I, I don't think the balloon ever takes damage. What what is it to Ooh damn, there's our Ooh, there's our crossbow, baby. Hell yeah, let's go. Alright, so metals and synthetics. Oh, that's fine. We'll use some of this stuff. I'm gonna need about seventeen hundred rounds just in case something's down there. Weapons called the negotiator. Printing completed. I think I'll make like twenty. Printing completed. So the crossbow seems to hold five at a time. Printing completed. Weird animation. Printing completed. Gonna be making me some bolts. Make me some rifle ammo. Oh, it only stacks to five, damn. Hmm. Maybe I won't need this much, but, uh... But I will keep it just in case. Actually, I don't know if this is the type of game where we can recover a bolt. But we made a ton, so we'll just hold on to what we got.
And note to self, we need to get organized. We'll get rid of the rotting food. Hydration level is decreasing. Thank you. I gotta work on stacking my stuff. Alright, next order of business chat when we get back is we're going to organize the hell out of this place. I'm going to build some more boxes and upgrade too. We're going to upgrade our existing boxes. Okay, let's put the water condenser down. Let's clear out inventory space. Oh yeah, we're, we're totally organizing when we get home. Flowers. Any more posters? Okay. Uh, what's the fire on the ship? Oh, that's just, um... Yeah, don't worry about that. It's fine. That'll let you know it's working safely. Boys, we're going down to the planet's surface? No freaking way. Ooh. I gotta go uh, this way. We're going like down a cargo elevator. There's a rope there. That doesn't look safe. Didn't I get a storage blueprint earlier? I got something called like a... I don't remember what it was called. Uh, like a equipment rack. Uh, this game will be single player only at launch of early access on the 22nd, but this game is confirmed to get multiplayer eventually. Okay, let's make some food for our return journey. And what did we unlock? I did get something called like a storage something or other, but I don't see a way to... Maybe I need to make an advanced crafting equipment or something. We'll do that uh, a little bit later. When we come back to the ship, we'll upgrade it. Okay, and I'm going to put that lure, get that out of our inventory. Alright, let's go. Hopefully we don't get towed. Yeah, it was like a storage rack or something, but I'm not... I didn't see it on the list, but... When we get back, we'll build uh, advanced crafting equipment, and we'll build... Uh, better storage. That's a hell no. Alright, our first time going to the planet's surface. Oh yeah, we better get out old Betsy. Power up research site. Theft of food. The convict stole food. The settlement court was understanding and uh, did not sentence him to go below, but they couldn't leave him just like that without punishment because people need to have an example sentenced to three days without food. Oh, are they talking about that Noah guy? Oh, damn, there's a cage here. <gasps> oh, this is for the non-subscribers. Oh. So anybody who hasn't subscribed yet, this is, this is where they get to watch from? Huh. That's weird. Subscribing is free. Hmm. 
That's weird. Lol. It just goes back down again. Tough but fair, I know. Oh, there we go. New radio message received. A radio message? Hopefully they do voice acting in the future. Explore the underdust area. Get to the lab. Oh, -ho, we're going in the elevator. Oh, no way. Oh, cool. I can put stuff on the elevator? Oh, that's awesome. So if you loot, you can bring stuff back to the elevator and then bring it back and forth to your ship. That's cool. So we only have to go back to here, dump off a bunch of stuff, and then we can just haul it back and forth to the ship. That's awesome. An organic printer. Is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Dust daisy. Synthetics. Metals. Small oxygen tank. Oh. Well, I don't have any dust daisies. That must be something we get down below. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> we're going down. Hell yeah. It's going to be interesting. Oh, wow. Bro, we're going down to the surface of Earth. Analysis completed. Detected new objects require scanning. Old storage boxes. Okay. Something could attack us. Heads on a swivel, boys. Entering into toxic zone. Oh, look at all the stuff we can find down here. No way, it's like a whole Our different game. So there's different plants we can find. Ice drew, blockade. We found that blockade before. Like where a power box is tied up. Medium oxygen tank. We might find these things. <laughs> oh yeah, the Kush. Requires crystal battery. That's different than our solid state battery. <sighs> don't you don't you touch me. Warning. Oxygen level is low. Sure is. Canned water transformer. Oh, those things don't stack? Damn. Maybe we'll... Oxygen level is critical. Yeah, it sure is. Oxygen level is low. Oh, that's so nice of them to give us these lockers. That's so nice. Energy crystal. I might need to make something out of that. Maybe that energy battery? Warning. Entering into toxic Oh, hi there. I'm not going to read that here. You guys hear that?
Ooh, polymer up on that locker there. Warning, oxygen level is low. Oh, I grabbed it nice. What's up, Seth? Uh, we're just reaching the planet's surface of Earth for the first time, and this is, uh... Interesting. Very interesting. Warning. Entering into toxic zone. We need all these materials, though. Okay, well, I certainly didn't need all that ammo, I guess, but hey! If we don't use it, we'll like we'll never need to make any again. Apparently, we get plenty. Wait, what? Zero out of twenty. He loads it, and then we have zero. What? Yeah, that's glitched. Warning. Entering into toxic zone. What's up, Cody? Alright, let's go this way up the ladder. Need to find our way to the lab. Back to the lab. Shows a laboratory symbol. Hopefully we can find something to make like a medium sized um, oxygen tank. Warning. Oxygen level is low. Dank Kush. Oh, I need a deck gun to get through there. How the hell am I going to get that? Can I make a portable one? Okay, we got to head back. There's like a battery there, too. Uh oh. Warning. Oxygen level is critical. Wait, where am I? I don't know where I am. No, I thought I was heading back to the ship. No. Bypass game gimmick. Good. <laughs> Warning. Entering into toxic zone. Sure am. What the hell was I? That was weird. I must have been on the other side of the wall. That's not even enough time. We're gonna have to. We're gonna have to build a big, few, um, oxygen tank. This is gonna be interesting. Uh, wait. What is this? Oh, more bolts. Uh, Alright, so I think we need to make a battery to get through here. We found some of those crystals, so I guess we gotta go back to the ship to craft a battery. Warning. Oxygen level is low. Oh, that door is locked. Yeah, the arrows point to the elevator, but the, uh, like the door is locked. God, up. <laughs> Knife unlocks? I don't think so. Maybe I can shoot that with the crossbow?
leave that stuff there and come back and get it. Maybe I don't need to. I don't know. We need to... Uh, we need to figure out what to do with that door. That's the only, like, uh, part of the puzzle we can't figure out. Because there's a study of it. I couldn't scan it either. It was listed in the, um... In the list of things, though. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have dropped the crossbow. Locking mechanism corroded by harsh conditions. It can be easily destroyed with a sustainable tool. Oh, a suitable tool. Like... Oh, it literally shows a crossbow or a knife. Okay. Alright. Didn't I hit it before with a knife? Okay, that's why I didn't think of that. So that's what you need to do. It's kind of a trap. Like, if you go that far, you'll run out of oxygen and then you won't... You won't be able to come back. Okay. So, but then, like, where are we here? Oh, I shouldn't have dropped that stuff. Silly me. Hee <laughs> hee, silly me. What's up, Matza? Good to see you. Yes, it is, ma'am. A, cr a crystal battery. <sighs> hmm. Okay, so we gotta shoot that door. Like, that's the only way back. Alright, so now, now we know, right? I didn't even know we could break that with a knife. We could have gotten another SSD back there. Or maybe I could have shot it through the door with the crossbow. But okay, cool. So now we're not going to die anymore. That's good. I hope. Can we, like, stab these? Oh, these. Okay, these give biomass. That's cool. If we're going to get any further, though, we need to make a... Um a crystal battery. Hell is that? Warning. Oxygen level is low. All right, cool. That's cool. All right, so now we found a way back to the ship. That's great. That's great. Now, do we have a blueprint for the crystal battery? Or, actually, we probably have to put it in the research station first, right? Hmm. Oh, wait. No, we can't make a thing there. We can make another oxygen tank, though, so we can have multiple tanks to switch out. We could do that. But I don't have any synthetics or metals on me. I wonder if we can make a portable extractor. Let's bring some stuff back to the ship. Level is that was cool, man. I wasn't expecting to see like a little bit of a... I had to do a little thinking there. That's cute. I'll bring the health kit back. There's an upstairs here. <sighs> yeah, 
Yeah, I didn't scan the printer. We'll have to do that when we go back. But now we can make a crystal battery. So we did have to go back here. Cool. All right. Yeah, that's really cool. Muy bueno. Okay, so now can we make that here? We can. Okay, but we need like what? Two of those at least, right? Let's see what else we can make. Extracts raw resources from object remain. Short operating range, lightweight, can be carried by hand. Oh, I couldn't make that before because I didn't have the uh, crystals. Now we can make that too. Hold on, I just need some plastic for that. Nice! Okay. So definitely go down the elevator, grab crystals, and then come on back. And we're going to need to make another battery, I believe. Those crystal batteries are real nice. That needs another battery. Printing completed. Alright, let's make ourselves a new tool. So the extractor... We just need a transformer. I think we left one of those on the elevator. Could be one of the boxes, though. Okay, I'm gonna go grab that. Then we can make an extractor. Awesome. This is big pog, man. This is really cool. A little little bit of a puzzle, quote-unquote. I forgot to look at this computer. Our lab stand fell under the smog. The uh, mounts broke off and all the equipment went to hell. All the tools, including our only virus sample analyzer, people were lost. We need to assemble a team to recover the most preci precious things. There are a few volunteers, but it's impossible to breathe there. The filters and the mask clog up after a while. Uh, fortunately, we have a prototype oxygen bottle that lasts longer. We uh, still only need the hand extractor to get through the debris. We can move. I pray we don't hear those voices out there again. Voices? Uh-oh. I need a transformer. There we go. Leave that. Grab that. We'll leave the gun. Take the cannoli. Have some Om Nom. Then I'm back. You didn't get a uh, notification for the stream until two hours. Well, thanks, YouTube. Always good to know about a live stream hours after a live stream ends. All right, let's. Yeah, I don't want that. Okay, so with the just with the extractor, we should be able to clear more debris too. So that's cool. Hydration level is decreasing. Everything's decreasing, ma'am. Just gonna have to leave as much stuff on the other box as I can. Cool, so now we have a portable extractor. That's nice. So let's do... 
extract. No, let's do gun, knife, extractor, scanner. Okay. Are there zombies in this game? I mean, I, I don't know, but they did mention voices, so... Thanks, chat, for the reminder. So I'm like, I'm really excited because like we're in a whole new area and it's really changed the game quite a bit. So I'm very excited. This is like all new stuff. Very excited. Much like. One FPS. Can we eat these? Yeah, but they're not good. Warning. Entering into toxic zone. Okay, biomass I can come back for. Uh, do I need that to get through? Warning. Oxygen level is low. We might have to craft something, so oh, there's the crystal battery. Let's go back. So what did that crystal turn on? There's anything in here. Warning. Oxygen level is low. Wait, is there a warning? Entering oh. into toxic zone. I want there to be like a um like a small thing I can crawl through. Oh, here's another one. Oh, that is O2. Oh. Oh, they're oxygen scrubbers. Okay. So we opened the door on the way back, so now we can get back easily, and now we have, like, kind of unlimited oxygen. Alright, Puck. Cool, alright. And yeah, we'll, uh... Do a little more thorough investigation later. Oh yeah, we have a gun. We have a crossbow. So we have a little bit of a weapon. Mm -hmm. Oh, so this is the catwalk above where we were.
back in that room again. I think we gotta speed run this a little bit to get to where we're going. Yeah, everything you can fly to pretty much has stuff that you can loot and or like dismantle. This is like a really important story area. That's got to be polymer. Oh, ho, ho. big money masuk, y'all. I feel like we can come back and loot later. I'm okay with leaving loot behind. I want to find the lab first and then, like, go back. Oxygen level is low. Oh, there we go. Oh, damn. I don't have another battery, though. So we could make another battery. Or I could just make another small oxygen tank and just switch them out, maybe? Now we'll have to go back to the uh, ship and recharge the extractor soon, but there's a lot of good loot and booty here. Printing completed. Inventory full. Oh, you can't, like, put it in your inventory. That's weird. need to find food. <laughs> wow. You find so many crossbows. Can the body be thrown in a circle? One may gyrate. That was buttocks of thine wish? Question mark, I guess. Shaketh. Okay, so that's just an oxygen thingy. Oh, maybe we're going up the boxes? Can I shoot the yellow light? I tried to stab it, but it didn't do anything. Uh, noob. Is decreasing. Diseases might oh. become more severe. Warning, oxygen level is low. I know, ma'am. a whole new area and I see a new flower down there too. Warning. Oxygen level is critical. I need to make another another crystal battery. No, no, it's right there, it's right there, no, it's right there, it's right, I'm, oh. It was right there. Warning, entering into toxic zone. Okay, got it. It was right there. 
I got, I got to like right here. All right, you know, I need to go make another crystal battery. I need a second floor. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna need a second floor battery. Okay, yeah, we're gonna need to make another battery to get oxygen on the second level. That area is huge. Hold on. Big O stream incoming. Every stream is a big O stream. Calories level is decreasing. Okay, let's make another battery. Yeah, we're learning the game rules now. It's like you really can't you gotta explore every single inch. Can't go too far without really exploring everything. Wow, there's crystal energy fuel. Ooh. I'm gonna wait though, I need to make batteries. So to make the battery I need Crystal battery. I'm gonna make more of these because they're just we need them. Nap time while we wait. Printing completed. Mm hmm Shiny objects are indeed shiny, chat, yeah. Dude, this is cool. We're like hitting the planet surface now. Yeah, it's cool so far, yeah. I'm just completely out of storage space. Do we have any more crystals? We should make another battery. Thought I had even more. Okay, scanner's charged. Can't charge the extractor. Hmm. What's our ship's name? Uh, the Rip and Dip. I'm just so completely out of materials. I'm just going to have to store stuff on the floor. For now. Extractor probably uses a crystal battery charger since it was made with one. Mm. Do we have a crystal battery charger? I'm not sure, but let's just hope we don't need it too much more. We'll use it on things that are only blocking the way now.
All right, let's go. Wait, where was the oxygen thing here? Okay, good. That makes things a little easier. I'm not sure where to go though. Like I went up and it looked like a kind of a dead end. Calories level is decreasing. Oh god. Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Oh my god. <sighs> oh, sprint is toggle. Okay. That's why. There we go. I really haven't been running too much, so... I really want those crystals. There's a freaking train here. I got a crystal battery, that's good. Whoa, hi there. Angry plant is angry. Warning, oxygen level is place we gotta go. Hi, beautiful. Boy, you're ugly. Do you want to die, maybe? Okay. I'll take that back. Nope, okay. Alright, well, I shot it in the face, and it didn't do anything. That's good. That doesn't do anything either. <coughs> Gotta be a way past those boys. I thought this was gonna be a little lab with a little lore. Oh boy. Hey! Empty O2 canisters. What the hell's that? A breath nut. <laughs> he tried to shoot that thing. Wait. Warning. Oxygen level is low. Can we scan these? No, we can. Oh, thank goodness we can make a medium oxygen tank now. Oxygen refill station, sweet. Okay, so we could have scanned those too. No need for it at the moment, but... But now we can make our own medium oxygen tanks, thank goodness. That's a breath of fresh air. I thought we were going to pick one up and be able to use it, but I guess not. We'll have to craft it back at the base. Back at the ship. That's cool. Craft hand extractor and get rid of the blockade. Uh, what the hell's that? A green colander. Food. Is this... Uh, sir, are you part of the blockade? An ice dew, a plant that is madge. Uh, this plant activates its defense mechanism when sensing a temperature close to that of human body. It does not react to lower temperatures. Oh, okay. So he just needs to chill.
So I need to get something to freeze him. No seem promising, but I'm not sure what to do yet. Hmm. Well, it says to craft a hand extractor and get rid of the blockade, and I'm not sure where the hell that is. Sounds like someone bouncing a basketball. Okay, we we aren't going through there. in the way too. Hmm. Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Did I go up this way? Yeah, we've been up here before. Dude, there's so many crossbows. So many bolts to shoot. Hmm. Well, we have our medium oxygen tank. We could go back and make that, but... Yeah, I think we need to get into the lab to get an ice weapon or a blueprint or something to then progress further. So we got to find a quote-unquote blockade. There's boxes in the O2 room? Okay, let's check that. We're looking for a lab. <sighs> Gotta find a lab. Gotta get back to the lab. This has been awesome so far though. This is the best part of the game by far. Partially restores oxygen level in the tank. Plus five water, plus five energy. Hmm. Warning. Entering oh. into toxic zone. So, looking for a blockade, huh? I am. Hydration level is decreasing. My hydration level's also decreasing. Wait. Oh, dude, it didn't increase the thing. Bro, that's a glitch. Gotta find the blockade, chat. Is that like lemonade? Or limeade? Blockade? <laughs> Maybe the lab is like in this room. Oh wait. Oh yeah. Oh, I never went down here. New environment detected. Oh. The underdust laboratory. I'm not going to read that now. Hey, hey. Dude, this place is a complete maze. This is awesome. Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. <sighs> Oh, 
Okay. I like uh, climbing with a knife, just in case. You get my point. Examine the virus carrier. Hmm. Is that some sort of a, um... Oh. Oh, what the hell is that thing? New life forms. Oh, boy. Alright, boys. Get your guns, chat. Heads on a swivel. The virus sample analyzer. Explore the tunnels. Craft a virus sample analyzer on the spaceship. The airship. We're getting pretty high up now. Warning. Oxygen level is low. Yeah, the cush is pretty dank. Been a very entertaining game to watch. Yeah, I appreciate the... Uh, this part is just great. There's like secrets around every corner. There's items everywhere. But you miss them because you're so afraid of dying to death. Well, I can't explore the tunnels because some mean old plants are in the way. They're being mean. Very rude. Did I see the latest City Skylines 2 video that was dropped today? I did. I'll be putting a video on the channel later for that. Oh, did I not activate that? Oh, I did. Well, let's go back to the ship, maybe, because chat also wants me to craft a bunch of storage, and that's a good idea. Storage. Oh, I see. We're above where we were. Did you see they banned skateboards in City Skylines too? Banned? Maybe it's a city ordinance. Alright, let's go up top. Yeah, consoles early ac after early access, uh, multiplayer later in early access, gardening or farming or whatever you want to call it on your ship, growing stuff. That'll be fun. I mean, an entire uh, greenhouse. Okay. Yeah, let's get an upgrade station. I'm gonna have to come back here. I'm gonna grab stuff I can build with. For now. I'll come back. <sighs> the front of the airship looks like a blobfish, just like, hi, hi. Okay, uh, let's see. You got a couple of devs here from the game cheering me on. Oh, I'm going to need more than that. I'm going to need, like, a sorcerer, a dark priest. And some, uh, a Dave's double from Wendy's to l really get, th get me through this one spiritually. Now I'm having a good time. I think that's what matters most. Is it electric elements? It is. So there's the sample analyzer upgrades. Okay, let's let's build. 
Upgraded tool charger. Oh, that's the one for the extractor. All right, let's upgrade all the stuff and things, chat. Research finalized. Okay. So, should I build it? Oh, if I build it, they will come, so... new stuff oh cool a new tab the science tab we need to build a motherboard hmm hydration level is decreasing the so motherboard was what circuit boards and it'd be nice here too by the way just a I don't know just a Hey, it'd be nice to the devs would be if there's an item here on the right side that we need to craft before we get an item it'd be cool if it just brought us to that page so like here I need to craft a motherboard if I clicked on that uh, and if it brought me to the item that I needed to make the mother like if it brought me to this page and highlighted that or something that'd just be a it'd be good for people like me other players will have no problem for me it'd be nice But I know you guys are working on other stuff, so... There's bigger problems. Bigger fish to fry. Bigger dust, dust moths to boil. I like how we're vibing. My character is very excited. He's like, come on, come on! <laughs> Finish! He's very excited to uh, have that crafting done. Or he's got to pee. Okay, so on to science! Who doesn't love boiled dust moss? I know, the only thing better than that is boiled dust cabbage. Mm. That's a genius system though, by the way. When I first saw that in the game, I was like, no way, this is a fishing mechanic? I think it's pretty smart, too, how you have to stay close to the dust in order to do that. It's quite neat. Also, chat, we found another hack today. Remember, floors and ceilings are the same thing, even though it says... Metal metal floor, if you try to build it on the ceiling, you get the pretty lights. Printing completed. Thank you, ma'am. I appreciate that. You are awesome. Can you tell me about my hydration levels again, please? Uh, check the virus research menu. Virus sample slot. Oh, I gotta get a virus? Sweet. With Jamie Lee Curtis? Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, I wanted to build the, uh... Or no, I guess I can't. Extract viruses from organic materials allows further study on other devices. Wait a minute. So does that mean I could put like a sun melon in there? Ooh. What the hell is this? EMF generator, pH separator, centrifuge. What the hell? Remove small, medium and large. All right, let's go. Let's go small, baby. Roll them dice. I gotta stay in the menu. Sample destroyed. Cleaning up. Reset in one zero. Huh? Medium? Sample partially set. Is this some sort of mini game? I 
I don't know what I'm doing. Chromavirus. Size small. Charge uncharged. pH neutral. Remove on. I think I'm trying to make a pure sample. No? So large. Positive. Nope. Large. Negative. Wait, we're just doing the opposite? Alkaline or neutral? Remove particles by pH. We want to make it neutral? I, I, I'm not sure what I'm trying to achieve. But it looks like just you, you there's just like a combination. It's a combination lock, essentially. Try acidic. Yeah, remove everything but the virus. Did I do neutral? I can't remember. So it's not neutral or acid. I think it's alkaline, right? Is it alkaline? Um... I thought I did them all. So the pH of this virus is neutral, so... Do I want to remove neutral to remove the virus? To, like, isolate it? No. We don't want to remove neutral then because that's the virus. I, I thought maybe we were trying to isolate it, but three chances to remove all that aren't the virus. Oh. Okay, so this is it's not enough. We're not removing enough of it. But then if I do medium, I don't think that's right. Okay. Oh my god, am I a scientist? I'm a frickin' scientist! Hell yeah! Frickin' science! Hell yeah! Oh man. Uh oh, hypothermia booster? What? Hypothermia booster? Wait a minute. That's what we want to uh, freeze those plants. Hell yeah. Oh damn, okay. Significantly. Uh, reduces body temperature, allows bypass of heat sensitive organisms while being unnoticed. Wow. It's, it's like high school all over again. Great. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, that's great. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we're Mr. Freeze now. I wanted to get some food, though. Oh. We need a shirt chat that just says, Consume <laughs> boiled dust cabbage. Now a bigger chest? I don't know. I kind of want to, like, go into the tunnels. All right, all right, all right. We'll do the... We'll do that. But if we're going to do that, I, I'm going to need food and stuff. So... Okay, all right. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to grab anything that's non-organic from the boxes. And then we're going to build that... 
We're gonna before we go down there again. We're gonna build the advanced tool charger. We're gonna build better storage and upgrade our storage, and then we're going to get some propane and propane accessories. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave all the anything that's not like a building material that we don't need to expand the ship. We might need the helium because if we get heavy enough, we'll need that to expand the balloon. And I might need water to not die. This is so cool. I like this area. This is really neat. This little, like, rooftop warehouse. Oh, this blue cable led down to their lab and they were, like, extracting stuff from here. Yeah. All right, chat wants more storage. Chat will receive. Caution. A storm is coming. You don't say. Man, people in this neighborhood need to slow down. It is a... This is a residential neighborhood. Oh, something spawned at the bottom of the thing. Oh, it comes out there? Okay. Vertigo virus. Can I place storage boxes in the elevator? I don't think I can build off the ship, but we... I love the fact that storage boxes are in the elevator, so you can uh, bring things up and down. I think that's just phenomenal. Hey, we got a big one, boys! Reel her in. Let's go. Ooh. All right, so now we can create the booster. Yeah, cool. That's good. Good. Now, can I make it here? Uh, we need a lulling grass cricket to make the vertigo virus. Wait, there oh, there's two different crafts crafting recipes. Okay. Cracking on those boxes. Hmm. So also earlier we um earlier we found some blueprints for things like office chairs and like a storage rack or something like that. How do we do we need to research that further, or how, like, how do we go about building that? No, oh, I'd love to make a shelf. That'd be nice. There's gotta be something like that. Okay, so the good storage box needs epoxy metals and synthetics. Oh, I can only make one. Well, unless I, um, you know, make more materials out of it. Metals and synthetics. Yeah, Chad, if you want to suggest games for everybody, all of our streaming friends on our Discord, for me, Booster, whomever else, uh, make sure you uh, list them on the Discord as well. Is this... It does forget... Uh, Steam now should have its next fest going on. Does, does this game have an updated demo now available? 
I've been getting so many messages and emails today about just all the games that are coming out. I want chat to, to get the best. Printing completed. Printing completed. Wow, that took a while. Alright, a storage. Storage box. Huh? Oh. There it be. I guess we'll put storage here in the lab. Ooh. Come on, baby. Let me optimize space. <gasps> oh, ho, 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 I could do it. Yeah, hell yeah, that's awesome. Mm. That is sweet. Very good. So, now let's do another box. So we need epoxy. Do I have that researched? Well, let's at least research that. Hmm. Research finalized. Um. Okay. I'm going to put building materials in this box. And I'm probably going to move some things around. We could put the synthesizer over here. I'm trying to get as organized as possible now, chat. I can just put that in there. Oh, it's got plenty left. Okay. That's a very efficient fuel. But I think I'll put just like polymer. Yeah, like everything but the machine and the electric elements. But those seem to be like plastic scrap too. So maybe I'll just leave it. First we'll get in the box, then we'll organize. Repair in a little bit. Glass. Mm hmm. Good, good. Now we can get past those plants. It's gonna be good. Quick sort would be nice. Okay, we'll put synthetics on the top row. Metals on the second row. Copper in there too. Uh, machine parts, electric components, polymer, 
Okay, that's a little more organized. Very nice. Very nice, chat. Very nice. Muy bueno. Okay, so... Fuel and gases and other stuff can go here. I think we could scrap these small ones, but uh, then again, I can't make any more big ones, can I? Look, let's put like food and water in here. And stuff that we can make food and other stuff out of. Empty bottle. We'll put kind of rare components and things here, like transformers and engines. Probably not going to need those a lot. We can also store tools up here, too. I'll put the uh, thingy there. Wow, look at all the solid-state batteries we have. All right, battery box we'll put there. Nice. And okay, we're not going to need, like, 13,000 bolts, right? Okay, more polymers. Uh, more synthetics, more metal. Yeah, some of the inventory is gonna kind of fold over each other, but I'm okay with that so long as they're kind of kind of organized, right, chat? We're kind of organized. And this is kind of for, like, there's some organization to this, but it's still a little miscellaneous. But I'd rather use our materials to expand the ship now rather than build more storage. Unless it's the storage that requires epoxy. But I don't know how to uh, research more epoxy. I I'd like to research it to be able to make it. We could do an upgraded tool charger. That's electric elements, circuit boards, and energy crystal. Do we have energy crystals? I don't think we have any more. We're going to have to go down into the into the depths. Oh, there's no rain here. Where's our big bottle? There it is. Okay, I'll bring the big bottle down. With the big bottle, we should be able to um, fill that up from underneath and then come back and boil. Yeah, I want to make the upgrade station. I don't think we have the materials for that. Maybe we do. We need glass. Uh, what was it? Circuit boards? Oh, we only got one. It's too... Well, this is just to research it. Then we need more to build it. I think we might want to do the upgraded tool charger first because that'll get us the extract... That'll let us charge the extractor. <clears throat> and then with the charged extractor, we should be able to uh, go back down there and get more things to expand the ship. So that might be a better start. So we have circuit board... We can make the circuit boards. And I think we have the electric elements, but we don't have an energy crystal. <clears throat> so we're gonna have to go back into the back to the lab. Chat's excited to go back to the lab. Oh, is it storming? <laughs> Actually, that'd be good in water. Okay, let's patch up the ship a little bit. Floor smoking. Stuff's barking, but it's not the area that's damaged. 
You'll need to make the booster to get past the plant. Yes. Yeah, the hypo... We need to give ourselves the hypo... thingy. Oh, I need another energy crystal, though. I don't think we have any more, though, so we'll have to get an energy crystal and come back here to get past those plants. But ideally, we want to find multiple energy crystals. One so we can craft that recharge station, and then one so we can... Uh, A barrel plant? I don't think I've heard of a barrel plant before. Man, it looks so cool pulling up. Pulling up to the lab. Oh, we got a little water. Scan barrel tree place. Yeah, I don't I don't know what that is. Is the barrel tree the um Oh I guess that was where we found the epoxy. Is is that the large greenhouse area where the tree grows up top where they're gathering water with giant Carol's rain catchers? Is oh it's a nice day. It is? Okay. Well, we'd have to go a long way to go get epoxy, so alright, but that's okay, because we got we got the storage is pretty damn organized, and we'll probably get more stuff, so that'll be our next stop then. So we'll go to the, um, we'll go to the, um, barrel tree later, I guess. Should have left these behind, but that's okay. Back to the lab. So we need to get energy crystals now. dirty water while we're down here. <laughs> the final boss is a mutated tulip. I hope not. Oh, uh, we didn't make the, um, the bigger oxygen tank yet either, but we probably need more stuff for that, like the, actually that would probably be an upgrade of our current, um, of our current oxygen tank, so we might need to make the, um, the upgrade station. That's right, we're here looking for crystals now. And there's probably more crystals past those plants, and we just need crystals to get past those plants. Yeah, tulips and windmills, yeah. Crystal battery, great. <sighs> we 
We just need to go back to where we were to make sure there's no crystals. Because we're going to need one crystal at least to progress. And all other crystals can go towards the upgrade stations. And then eventually we'll go back to the barrel tree and get storage stuff going too. Back to the lab. Warning. Oxygen level is low. Push. Wait a minute. Am I going to have to, like, purposely disease myself to trick plants? Are we going to have to, like, disease ourselves and then, like, give ourselves a cure? <sighs> hmm. Want to make sure I didn't miss any crystals in the initial area. Angry plant is angry. Oh, you've seen me walk past three? But, oh, there's more uh, breath ones there, too. Oxygen level is low. Oh, there's some. Okay, but now first let me get oxygen. We'll get those in a minute. FPS. Oh, can I scan this? Wait, open? I can go in there? What the hell's that? Oh, is that the elevator from the outside? <laughs> That's funny. I need to get up there. Maybe I can drop down from the top? Oh, wait. Here we go. Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. There we go. Yay. And now I gotta get oh. over there. Warning. Oxygen level is low. Just need a quick O2 thingy. Now we'll go back to the elevator, it's close. Body. Ooh, I'll take that though. Free plastic, yeah. Ooh. 
one FPS. There's so much stuff here. There is cursed. It happens. All right, <clears throat> let's go home. We're making the charger, and we're making the uh, virus booster thingy. And if there's time, we'll make a Mai Tai. Or maybe a pina colada. That way we can dance in the rain. A mojito, maybe some ramen. Back to the slab. Okay, so we want ourselves the... Upgraded tool charger, but also the virus. How about some water? What, for the fish tank? Oh no, did I not bring those back? Oh, we did. Good. Okay. Immunity is decreasing. Diseases might become more severe. Dude, we went from building stuff to being like a scientist. Like we're a researcher. That's so cool. Uh, it's going to take a minute. Um, Printing completed. Oh, thank you. All right, hypothermia booster. Button. Oh. Printing completed. Thank you, ma'am. So helpful. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, it's such a big day on Steam. There's I I can't believe it. So many things and stuff too. Alright, we have ourselves the hypothermia booster. We can get past the plants. I don't know if that's gonna be a time based thing. Significantly reduces body temperature, allows to bypass heat sensitive organisms will be on I don't I don't know if that, I don't know how that's gonna work. I'm not gonna use that yet. I'm skeptical of this here science. Devil magic. Clinical research and trials. Proving techniques, laws of physics, mathematics, and science, otherwise known as the devil. Okay, so what should we do next? The, uh, oh, yeah, we do upgrades. Alright, so we could do the upgraded tool charger. We should do that. Should do that. Because we're going to need that extractor. Okay, so we need to make a bunch of graphic cards. Graphics cards. Gonna take electric elements. Wait. Oh, plastic scrap. So we need to make two of those to have three. Printing completed. Ooh, if only they were that fast in real life. Man, thank goodness we grabbed so much 
crap out of the uh, basement. Printing completed. Down in the horror basement down there. Scary. Mm hmm. Oh, you listen closely. You can hear science. Oh, yeah. There you go. The, the numbers are being crunched. So now it is the upgraded tool charger. Three transformers, a motherboard, and. My god. What does it take for a motherboard? The mother of all boards. Wait, that's under... There. Ten copper and three more circuit boards. Oof. I don't know if we're going to be able to cut that. No, I'm going to need more plastic scrap. Man, you cannot be enough of a loot goblin in this game. Okay, we'll need that. All right, I think we I think we can venture further into the tunnels. We're, we're more than likely going to find a ton of stuff while we're there. Uh, we have at least one transformer, though. I think Bumblebee is in there. But we will need some om noms. We'll need some oms to nom. Make some good vittles, chat, so we can have some snackarooskies on the road. Bumblebee tuna. Indeed it be. Chad, I'm happy with my organization. I think I did good. Ooh, it's a big one. Oh, that was a big one. Yeah, we're gonna we're putting in a order for a Dave's double dusty moth with the side of dusty cabbage. <laughs> dusty cabbage sounds like a great Western saloon. Uh, can the other be scanned in the virus thing? I think so. I think we can scan more stuff. Maybe, but it's got to be like. The blue one, I think. Maybe. Or was that? Oh, that was in the food locker. Oh, no, it went bad. No. No. So we'll have to bring up a uh, fresh sample of those, what were they called? Bre breath nuts? That's interesting, because this did not go bad. Maybe the ones that you can do science on never go bad. I don't know. I don't think those are for eating. Those boots are made for walking. Christopher walking. All right, nap time while we wait. Chad, I feel like this is the type of game that you could just classify as, a, oh yeah, this is a futuristic Western game. Uh, you know, the airship is your horse and the sky is your sky. Yeah, Christopher Walken, that's right. Hmm. Alright, I'll bring the canned stuff with us. 
We're gonna bring the can stuff and a can do attitude chat. Oil dust moth. Mm. I hope the dev team gets like some funny. Di I I love seeing when development teams and publishers have parties and then they they get food and stuff that's related to their game. Like for example, Satisfactory all the time. Their group is just like basically getting uh, stuff related to the uh, space doggo and whatnot, like plushies and cakes and stuff. They this dev team needs some sort of dust moth. Grilled dust moth. With a side of kabaj. Mm hmm. I do like it though, like in games, uh, it, um. Like in, um. In Raft. That publisher, the, the studio that made that game is called, uh. Red beat, I think, and so you can always find red beats in boxes. We have blimp plushies on the way. Frick, I want one. Can I buy one? Actually, I didn't even think about that. That's genius. I was just thinking about food because it's lunchtime. Yes, in a game where you build and modify and enhance and upgrade and develop and design and decorate your airship. The YouTuber guy's like, bro, dust moths. I'm not saying they're the future, but, you know. Cold, cold budge? Yeah, cold budge. Now, what else do I have? Okay, I need this. I don't think I need the constructor tool. I'm just going to leave that. Can I put that in the charger? Yeah, I'll just leave that there. If we get them made, we'll have to organize something. Hell yeah. Well, again, chat, remember, there's a lot of uh, stuff going on on Steam today. And probably on Twitter and everywhere else. You're going to be seeing a lot of videos of a lot of new games. And this is one, too, that's coming out on the 22nd. So not too long. I want to continue to play this one every day. I've been, like, thoroughly enjoying the pacing of this game. And even though there's more games to cover, this is certainly one that... Uh... This game was tough, man. Because, like... Every time there was a demo, I just wanted to play more and more of this game, but... That's what made Raft and Subnautica hard, too. Was that it was like, you could play those early access, and we did. But it was like, you'd get to a certain point, and you'd be like, oh, end of chapter. You know, we'll update again in the future. It's like, damn it. Because, like, um... You know, even the Long Dark has its things where they, they make a new chapter, it develops the story a little bit more, and then you get to the end, and it's like, damn. But this one was hard to wait for. And you have to wait a little longer, chat. But that's fine. You can hang out with me. That's cool. Alright, I think we need to... Oh, we have more juice. Bring that up to a five stack. What is that? Oh, that must be a... The colander must be for... An oh, is that another virus? Filters water from air. Advised to boil before consumption. Well, yeah, I'd say that's probably true about most things. Mm-hmm. Boiled goose. Dude, the music down here is just great. So cyberpunky and stuff. I love it. All right, chat. Well, I am going to show you a new video on this game, but also many other Steam games that either have demos or are coming out this week or whatnot, so I'm dropping a new video right now on the channel, a top 10 of Steam games that you can get this week, in no particular order, and just 10 games that I just randomly grabbed, but there's more like New Cycle and many others that are available for this Steam Next event, so join me live as we all go to a brand new YouTube premiere on a pre-recorded video, we're going to jump over there and check that out. And then later I'm going to be back with even more Steam demos. We're going to jump on Steam and I'm going to download a bunch of games that you guys have suggested in the Discord. And we're just going to browse around and enjoy all the games that are new this week on Steam. There's some big highlights. Gord. Uh, this game getting released for Forever uh, Skies on the 22nd. Uh, there's a demo for The Invincible out today as well. There, There's just way too many great games and they don't get enough love. So please... Any game on the channel that you've enjoyed watching, 
add it to your wish list so that way upon early access release or full release any game including this one forever skies gets in steam steams like carousel or whatever there's so much like there's only so much space on steam's front page and if you like this game a lot uh it certainly deserves your at least a wish list or at least a download of the demo give it a shot and um yeah please do like this video too so more people can find our awesome community and also all these great games that we'll be playing mostly for free this week on the channel. So it's a good time for an enjoyable summer for gaming. So thanks again, including the uh, Forever Skies development team coming in and saying hello. Please feel welcome back anytime. And Chad, always feel welcome to ask developers uh, questions and, and uh, let them know you love their game or ask anything you'd like to. And I'll see you all in a bit for our next Big O stream. Enjoy the new video going live right now on the channel. And we'll be back tomorrow morning with more Forever Skies. We'll be playing this forever. Until until we don't. Oh, yeah. <laughs>